Oklahoma could join five other states in an effort to ban powdered alcohol. The new product is dubbed Palcohol and received federal approval last month. It's sold in four varieties, vodka, rum, cosmopolitan, and the powderita. Powdered alcohol has received interest from airlines and hotels in Hawaii because of the costs associated with transporting liquid alcohol. But critics fear the product will be abused, especially by youth. Those who are opposed to the sale of alcohol fear the product could be snorted, mixed into other alcoholic drinks, or brought into venues that don't allow alcoholic beverages. The creator, Mark Phillips, refutes those claims on his website. People say that powdered alcohol will make it easier to sneak into alcohol into venues. Well, which would you choose? These are the same amount, one drink in each. You're not going to choose alcohol. The package is too big. Senator Stan Newberry introduced Senate Bill 720, which bans the sale of the product. It was approved by the state Senate in March and is now awaiting further action in the State House of Representatives. My hopes are eventually the governor will sign it, it'll become law, but the type of substance that it is, is um, it's not like a traditional alcohol where you can, uh, you have to buy the ID as you buy it. I mean, you probably could make it so you have the ID, but it's uh, concealable and it poses a tremendous amount of risk to the, uh, the common health and good of our society. I think the you know, being able to put it in a water bottle and be able to make beer wherever you are or alcohol drink wherever you are is dangerous.